Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Cheers. So we're, here we are in the centre of Cambridge and we know, all of us who have lived here for many, many years, we know the congestion problems that Cambridge suffers and we know what a knock-on effect that's had with house prices and, uh, come on James, get your bloody Brady here. We all know the congestion problems that Cambridge has suffered and the area has suffered over many, many years. And so the plan is absolutely to go under the city of Cambridge and create a transport network that is truly environmentally friendly, truly carbon neutral and allows future growth to be sustainable. So, um, wait a minute guy who's got the, uh, the little coffee shop there, that's part of the funding that's gone forward for the Commander of Policy. So his name's Gareth, who's agreed to have a little chat with us. Yeah, okay. So do you want me to do something first here and then we'll go to him? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just have a walk and have a chat. Okay, all right. <coughs> so where are you from, James? Uh, well, I'm from Soham, uh, just in, uh, in uh, near Ely. Where did you grow up? You to I grew, grew up in Soham, went to school in Soham, ran a business from the town. And, uh, what's your, and how come you got involved in <laughs> politics? Well, uh, I was asked to stand for election in 1980. Uh, sorry, I'll start again. I, st I was asked to stand for election in 2007 uh, for the district council uh, in East Cambridgeshire. And my wife said to me, You're always moaning, why don't you do something about it? So that's what I did. And, uh, and from then on, that's just led from becoming leader of the council in, in Ely uh, and also becoming a county councillor and then elected as mayor in 2017. Uh, trying to make me and others look good, and he's doing a pretty good job of <laughs> yeah, it so far. Not too bad. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks. So when you sell it, whatever the market grows by, you sell at 35% market discount. So the next person comes in so, exactly okay, the same. Yeah, so yeah. it's perpetual. So yeah. You go to little village primary schools, and their yeah, you know, their numbers are dropping yeah. because you're not getting young families able to afford to live in the villages like this. That's yeah. exactly. Yeah, and where course. their parents live or their support network. Yeah, uh, brilliant. I always think Essex is fairly flat, and I've got a few little lumps in my mm -hmm. patch, but nothing, nothing big at all. And then you're reminded there's flat, and then there's flat. <laughs> it's really flat. And when you go out to the <laughs> fence, it's like, oh yeah, yeah, that's I yeah. now I remember. Preparing all that. So, where's the lot? So, so, uh, it's been a very strange period of time, hasn't it? You said all three yeah, worked in the eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazingly quiet. There's no, nothing, there's how many nothing these never that. really helped in campaign? I mean, they would turn up as individuals, you know, for a weekend. Because it's been really strange. I mean, last, that, that could explain last, that, last time they spent well over the 50 pounds for the election. We didn't challenge them because yeah, we won, yeah, yeah. but okay. they have been incredibly quiet. Yeah. And, and Labour, uh, Labour put a little bit in, but you know they haven't. Been, they don't, they don't, they've really done very much. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, this sort of stuff in Grenfell doesn't help. Yeah, it's the same thing with the polls. Yeah. Yeah. The polls are clear. <laughs> It's great to be out with uh, James Palmer, our mayor, standing for re-election, has my full support. I think the Liberal Democrats are struggling a bit this election. I think that when they concentrated so heavily on becoming a party of Remain, I think they lost their luster of being a local party. And um, added to the fact they've got no money to, to you know, hardly any leaf that's going out and stuff. I think that there's a... Hi boys. Um, yeah, they may be wrong. We'll see. See, I mean, they're usually very active, uh, delivering hundreds of leaflets, and uh, they haven't really done much at all. Cambridge is a lovely place. Yeah, it really is. Lovely. Yeah, it really is lovely. Yeah. And, uh, so we're almost on the Essex border here. So oh, is that right? So yeah. it's right in the north, south? Right in the south. Do you know what? I totally lost my bearings. Yeah. Okay, we better think about going. Yeah. Get Boris right. here. Yeah. James will meet him. Yeah, get you? Boris up here. Yeah. Tell, okay. Tell, tell him that not everybody's a Remainer in Cambridge. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And good luck Thank on you Thursday. Thank you. That's Thank you. terrific. Sorry about the lateness. Oh, you're, you're good? Thank you.
Good, good. Yeah, we, we, well, uh, I went to Whittlesea to have the photo with Steve Parkway. We could go 10 days ago. Okay. Good morning, morning. Home Secretary. How are you? Very good, thank very, you. Very, nice to see you. I'm very nice How to see you. How are you all doing? Hi, folks. Hi, hi, hi. hi. Nice. How's it all going? Nice to see you. Yeah, good. Thanks for coming to be here. Well, it's a lovely morning. It it's is. nice to be it here. Is. It is nice to come back, definitely. Well, I remember you, you bought the last round. We should just dis <laughs> distance a little bit. <laughs> your turn this <laughs> <your turn. laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, if we just sort of do a bit of social distancing while we walk. Mm -hmm. Home Secretary, about Fine. local stuff. Great, let's get on with it. I'm getting really cold. How do you think the mayoral system uh, has benefited the people of, of the UK? Well, I think it's important to recognise that our mayors are at the forefront of delivering for local communities. Okay. Nice to see you. Thank you for your time today. Bye-bye. Thank you. And you. <laughs> Yeah, so the armed police do a wrecking, they're just going, no, move up a bit, just in case there's a bomb there. Don't go on the double yellow lines. To be honest, and I can show you, I chose my words very carefully. Hi, Joel, change of plan, sorry, Home Secretary won't be able to do interviews in Cathedral Square in the morning. That's why. I didn't say it was off. I thought it worked out perfectly. What were we doing? How you doing? How are you? I'm all right. Good to, good to see you. A busy day. Yeah. Yeah, it's been actually. So, uh, yeah, it's that season, isn't I've it? I would have done the spread of the whole of the UK. Yeah, a good time, Brandon. Oh, yes, yeah, I'd still, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, Ben? Right. I'm all right, how are yeah, you doing? Good, good work. Yeah, very well, very well. How are things over there? Good. Yeah, all right. I mean, yeah. the, uh, the DUP situation is going to be an interesting few weeks. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, and there's. Uh, it's challenges with the protocol and stuff, but it's but it's good. I mean, it's, it's a great place. Yeah, yeah it's got so much opportunity. You can, can we sort out that yeah. protocol stuff with the yeah, the, I think can, yeah. yeah. Is that yours? That one's mine. Yeah. How would you find it? I nearly bought one of them, it, but I, I like it. I do like it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah, I've had to I had to wash it early. Next Thursday. Take a few minutes out of your day. I know it can be a long day during the week, but just take a few minutes, go and vote, because your vote can make a difference, and you can make a difference for the better of your area. And James is a man worth voting for. I couldn't have scripted it better. Who am I? I've got no idea. 60 seconds or so is yeah. we get bored after that. What do you think? I think we'll get bored after about 10 seconds. <laughs> do you think we'll get bored before it starts?